think he deserved to have a picture in the in the corridor. Two things. Uh, the match. Do you feel you're improving with your team, and if yes, in which aspects? The game of tonight, I think, has been very, very positive. A bit uh, unlucky in the in the finishing part to post. I don't know how many chances, how many saves of their goalkeeper. Uh, no, I think the game was 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 okay. Uh, we suffered just a bit in sometimes in uh, managing the the two midfielder and Durisic and Bakaseta coming to play uh, because they are players with quality, with a lot of mobility. In the moment that uh, they arrive uh, to connect there, I think the the back four plus Jordan, they manage really well to to defend and to and not to concede uh, clear uh, clear situations. Uh, and honestly, I think with the ball we did a fantastic game. We escaped many times from the pressure. Uh, we attacked the box with uh, seven, eight players. Uh, how we prepared the second phase in the moment that they were kicking forward the ball. Uh, for me, the attention has been uh, fantastic. The game uh, really positive. We miss the goal that for sure uh, could, uh, not to say, some save a bit of our energies and our uh, heart. But uh, okay, it's uh, it's how it is. Uh, it took, uh, I would say, a bit longer to to get the job done. But uh, I think it was uh, a positive night. And let me spend one word for the supporters. That poh, incredible, incredible. I've also seen your, your, your congratulations. I also saw your emotions. You know, what is as a coach how difficult if you have to watch? You know, Broby misses two times. Uh, uh, you know, Remco saves five times. It was like almost a kind of you know yeah. tennis tiebreak, isn't it? Thirteen, yeah. twelve. Huh? Today was crazy, really. I think we had four match point. If I'm not uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, at one point. We didn't know when we were going to, to finish. Um, I think again, Remco did uh, uh, five uh, amazing saves, uh, and also let me say a couple of players, more than a couple of players, but Anton, uh, Mika, the, the you know they went uh, with big balls uh, to take the penalty and honestly I think this also helped to, to change a bit the dynamics because in one moment I think the level of frustration of everybody was really high uh, and and nothing so. And also Remco, you know, also takes a penalty. Yeah. I don't think you, you know, you practice that. So he, he, he kicked a couple of penalties, but he missed, I think, one. So when I saw him taking the ball, I was a bit more confident in him saving than him uh, scoring. But it was a, a, a very nice uh, night for him and for everybody and for all the team. Just let me spend one, uh, you know, to, to explain one anecdote. Uh, today, Remco, uh, there are a few pictures now, new pictures here in the corridor. And Renko said, but for the um, clean sheet, there is no there is no pictures. And I say, you know, sometimes the goalkeepers they need to make an art job and to deserve a bit more. I think it took me <laughs> exactly, you know, in the in the proper way. And I want to get back to changing the order of the penalties in the second series because, of course, you have to also be aware that the rules of the game actually allow this. You have to be sure that the players know this. Has there been any kind of communication uh, with with the technical staff, with yourself, to to okay? This decision. Uh, this one was something that, uh, uh, honestly, we didn't think to. We prepare all the plan, not this one. Uh, <laughs> we didn't think to make a full, a full, uh, a full lap again. Uh, but when we we went to the referee to ask, one of my assistants went to the referee to ask if we could change the the order. They say yes, and it was like a communication on the pitch to adjust the new order to to go to take the penalties. Yeah. Uh, how long does it take that Bobby uh, can play and? 90 minutes, do you think? This one, I don't know. I'm not uh, a magician. Uh, I think uh, there, are, there are good possibilities that uh, he will start against uh, next week, uh, next week, next game uh, against Nakbreda uh, yeah. and from there to go. So, like every day, we need to check how we are and, and to move forward. With a lot of players from uh, from PSV, by example. Yeah, but not they, they, they were also playing in the European yeah, Championship. But they not, play not, for two weeks. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Sure, sure, but not all the players are the same. Uh, the history of Brian, especially from the muscular point of view, is very particular. Last season, Ajax has been the worst team in terms of injuries, in terms of uh, recovery from injuries. One of the team with the lowest uh, intensity on the pitch. So, as I said, we are building a process. Uh, we need to be aware from where we start, where we want to go. 
Uh, and in one moment we need to take also decisions that are a bit unpopular but are decisions that are taken with all the information all the data all the analysis from uh, all the people that are working in the club and that uh, they are putting so much attention and love in their job to provide me the best information and after is my decision to take of course to pick the lineup and to pick the players that are going to enter so final question how many years you know you're older after this match uh, i don't know <laughs> the doctor sent me a message before that tomorrow maybe we need to make a check. <laughs>